Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your mid-month December reading. This is for December 15th through December 31st, 2017. This is for the sign of Taurus. Now, I need to remind you that this is not a private reading. This is a general reading for a large audience. So, uh, take what resonates and just leave the rest, okay? I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I am only going to shuffle it for a moment. And I will focus the camera in once I have all the cards laid out. basis of your reading okay so there's something false going on there's a false foundation and I know that's the tower card but the, the devil brings in lies deceit obsession addictions lust things that are not real okay they bring in things that are false when the devil comes out in a reading is it means that you can free yourself from something okay so towards the end of this month, you may be deciding to free yourself. I'm not sure from what. We're going to dig right into this in just a moment. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just seeing what we have here. So I do see that you need to let go of the need to control things are out of your hands in some way okay you need to just go with the flow okay you do you may be feeling a little hot-headed or stubborn you may be feeling a little grumpy at times you know things can become a little chaotic there could be some conflicts with your family and oh it is the holiday season so there could be some conflicts but I feel like they're minor I don't see any major huge conflicts you could be feeling a little uh, stubborn though and set in your ways and I feel like you may just want to reconsider that you know try to try to bend just a little um, I feel like you know good fortune is on the way congratulations we have the wheel of fortune so I see a change of course whatever is happening towards the end of this month is bringing you closer closer to your wish to your purpose okay um, I feel like it is definitely a time to celebrate. It's time that to open your eyes, take the blindfold off, acknowledge the truth of a situation. I feel like you were going through a period of doubt, but I think that's over. I think the blindfold is off and you have opened your eyes to something. And you're, there's no more doubt at this point. I do see clarity. I think some clarity has come about that is, is giving you like a personal freedom. I see that one cycle has ended in your life or it is ending very, very soon. And I say cycles because we have the Wheel of Fortune here with the moon and those are both cycles. And it's something that you were um, <coughs> attached to. Okay, this cycle wasn't good for you and now it's ending. And it's not good for you because the devil is also in this lineup. So something was going on in your life that didn't serve you. It really didn't, even though you really enjoyed it, whatever it was. You know, you, you probably enjoyed it. You know, you were obsessed with it. There was a lot of passion there or whatever it was. But it's, it's over now, okay, because this is an ending. It's the four, it's the four of swords. And it's, and it's like a death card, even though it's not a death card. You know, it's it's an ending of something. Feeling dead. It's over. Okay, so whatever this cycle is, it's, it's going to spin in your favor. It's over. So the difficulties you've been having with somebody could have been a Capricorn. I think they're over. We have Capricorn. We have Leo. We have, I'm seeing who else we have here. So far we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, which is probably you, but many of you are probably dealing with a Capricorn or somebody that was very manipulative. I see manipulation here, but I feel like it's over. That cycle is over. 
the cycle of being manipulated. And I, I feel like because of that, there's like a new, um, you're, there's good news related to love, related to a family member perhaps, okay? You could be uh, having like a reconciliation with a family member. There's been struggles, there's been tension, there's been strife, and then all of a sudden, you know, the holidays come around and the struggles start to dissipate. I think the difficulties are going away. Maybe love is even being offered. Now this could be from another person, you know, a partner or a family member because I think that family really comes into play towards the end of this month. It feels like there's there's no more the dilemma is going away and I think I feel like people are starting to be more friendly with each other rather than fighting. I think it's a time of uh, working together okay uh, and I feel like um, where, where where there was a lack of of friendship and a lack of communication and a lack of love I feel like this month towards the end of the month that's returning okay I feel like um, the tension is definitely going away and there's a the there's the chance of starting over okay but unfortunately the fool card is reversed so there's a chance to start over but somebody is going to have to take the first step is that going to be you i don't know that's up to you but i do see the need to let go of control okay it's out of your hands just go with the flow all right um the insecurities you've been feeling and feeling um unstable insecurities i believe that's going away too i just feel like this is the end of december is about <laughs> coming together, working together, um, difficult cycles are ending that needed to end. It looks like there's no, the dilemma is going away. You know, you've been through a lot with another person and it feels like there could be some kind of reconciliation of some sort. So... All right, sorry about that. I've been expecting a call, so I had to take it. So anyway, um, I feel like this is a month of uh, mastering your emotions, okay? The outcome is strength, confidence, perseverance, um, letting go of old bickerments, letting go of the, the need to control, letting go of the past, starting over. I do see starting over. Somebody just has to take the next step. We do have the Page of Cups here, so I need to tell you that you you might be receiving some welcome and unexpected news regarding a child. It could be even even a birth, or you know, I, I really truly believe there's a reconciliation of some sort. Okay, where somebody was feeling at a loss, they were feeling like this was at a dead end, and I feel like the dead end has now. Um, opened up a new path okay a new door has finally opened okay uh, so I just feel like it, it looks like it's a good end of December where there's a fresh start in store finally finally there's a change okay that you've been wishing for it's 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 like the answer to your prayers almost the wheel is finally going to spin in your favor a negative cycle in your life is ending and it just looks very very promising you've persevered you've persevered through um, adversity and it just it looks like because you've really um, stuck with it you've stuck with something instead of quitting you know you've stuck with something and you've really remained in control of a situation you know you have really um, persevered you've come a long way you've had some doubts but you've overcame them I see you overcoming your doubts and there's been periods of time where you've been hot-headed and you've been stubborn and it feels like that it's you know now you're waiting your perseverance your persistence is paying off okay I see a payoff for somebody finally you know I just feel like the, the end of December is a very um, a, good coming together happy month okay end of the month it looks like everybody's going to be working together and there's happiness here one negative cycle is ending 
okay? Possibly with a Capricorn, okay? Or a Leo. Now, this strength card is about letting go. And letting. And I see letting go of the need to control because there's manipulation. So I don't know if that's you or the other person. But I feel like the manipulation that's been going on is going away. I'm just going to get this next deck right here. I see that many of you are becoming the master of your emotions. You're using the force within to prevail, okay? To be able to just go with the flow. And I think that's what's going on, is you have been going with the flow. <coughs> And that's why the wheel is spinning in your favor. Oh, beautiful. So it's the end of a difficult time. Like I just said, it is. You're starting to heal. And not just you. <coughs> it feels like somebody else's too. It feels like a healing process has begun. Okay, I feel like there's been some difficulties and perhaps at the end of this month, there is a reconciliation that what is very unexpected. It comes all of a sudden. It could involve a child, a child of yours or a child of somebody else, where all of a sudden somebody in the mix is willing to take a step out of their comfort zone in your direction. You know what I mean? They're willing to give. I feel like there's a willingness to to give a little, to compromise, to work together. I feel like, you know, there's all of a sudden, there's growth, there's an ability to, um, free yourself from conflicts. I mean, there's, there's conflicts that are going away. It's like, there's freedom here. It's like, strife is going away at the end of this month. It's like, all of a sudden, somebody has decided to come out of their shell, step outside of their comfort zone. I mean, that's clear. Somebody has decided to open up. Open up and give a little. Somebody has given a little, finally, whether it's you or the other person, okay? I feel like, you know, there's been some uh, strife, there has. There's been some spiteful energy. There's been some trouble, but I feel like that trouble is starting to go away, okay? Maybe somebody has decided that they need to be grateful for something. They need to see things from a different light. Maybe they don't want to be by themselves anymore. Maybe they've realized that they can't, they can't do it on their own. They need your help. I don't know. I don't know. It just feels like you're needed. Okay? And I don't, I don't know why, but it feels like you are needed in some way. Okay? And it feels like... After a period of restlessness, the honest truth comes out, okay? And it brings about a freedom for you or the other person that is unbelievable. I see personal freedom here for either you or somebody else or even both of you, okay? Where they're, they're, the insecurities, the instability, the strife, the trouble, the... The tension, the conflicts, the pettiness, the lack of love, the lack of um, working together is going away because I feel like the togetherness is here. Let's be friends. Let's work this out. Okay? It's just a, I think the end of December is going to be more peaceful than you expected. Then you might receive very welcome news regarding a child. Okay? Um, this magician card says, as above, so below. Okay? Success is coming. You've earned it. Everything that has happened is, is bringing you to this place of success and healing. Okay? I see healing going on. Um, and pretty interesting, huh? I think it is. I'm going to get you one of these angel romance cards. Um... Many of you are just shedding the old. Some Something is, the old is going away, okay? It's like, no more animosity. I think the animosity is dissolving. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Ooh, honesty, was I just talking about that? 
believe I was. Fell out of the deck and flipped over. And this is what's going on. Somebody is opening up. They're giving a little. Oh, I said that early. Earlier, somebody is giving a little. And it's really one person gives and then the rest gives. And it's like, woo! You know, it's like, wow. It really feels good. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Now, this can be a partner. This can be a child. This can be more than one person. But this is what is opening up. The happiness, the love, you know what I mean? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I believe there's more communication this month, at the end of this month, that there has been in a long time. Congratulations. Giving and receiving. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. Giving and receiving. And this is what this month, the end of this month, is about. Okay? I think there's mutual giving and mutual receiving. And it looks pretty darn beautiful to me. I see personal freedom. I see freedom from strife, conflict, uh, insecurity, stress, you know, and I see people becoming friends again. So this looks really good. It does. Uh, this is for Taurus, December 15th through December 31st, okay? It is about freedom. It's about freeing yourself from negativity it's the devil basis of your reading it is it's about but this one and this one I think it's about this the end of this month is about freedom okay and happiness I see happiness here and working together and good luck and good fortune and everything just playing out wonderfully so this is what I have it looks really good to me I think that a negative cycle in your life is over because somebody's given a little. Talk to you later.